An indigenous protester died in clashes with security forces as violent protests erupted on the streets of Ecuador's capital, Quito. The incident took place during the ninth day of demonstrations against the Ecuadorian government over its handling of economic policy. The protester who died was a member of the Quechua indigenous group. He was participating in a roadblock when a confrontation broke out and he was then hit on the face with a tear gas shell. This is the second death of a protester after a young man died overnight. The youngster fell into a ravine while trying to flee from the military just outside the capital. Tear gas, stones and military pellets dominate the confrontation with anti-riot personnel. This came after Ecuador's armed forces warned that they would allow that they would in fact not allow ongoing protests to damage the country's democracy. Igualmente nosotros we continue to call for dialogue and rationality, but we know there are some organized groups trying to generate chaos in the city. The police units have implemented various investigations and devices to identify those who are financing the protests and violence. Thousands of demonstrators have protested in Quito since June 13th to demand concessions from the Ecuador president, Guillermo Lasso. The protest was called by the Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of Ecuador. The movement has since been joined by close to 10,000 people, including students, workers and other Ecuadorans who are feeling the economic pinch. Their demands include a fuel price cut, a haul to the expansion of oil production and mining, more time for farmers to pay their debt and budget rises for health care in particular. Since the start of these protests, major routes entering Quito have been blocked by protesters. Demonstrators have also halted close to 190,000 barrels of crude oil production. President Lasso extended a state of emergency to cover six of the country's 24 provinces with a nighttime curfew in Quito on June 20th. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.